I'm going to show you how you can gain upwards of 30% more FPS inside of Modern Warfare 3 without losing any visibility or graphical quality, all just by adjusting a couple of key lines in the config files, as well as tweaking some of the other out of game GPU settings. Before we open up the config file, you need to make sure that your game is closed. If it's running while we do any of these changes, it's just going to overwrite and it's not actually going to do anything. Then what you need to do is go to your main documents folder for your PC, open up Call of Duty, then Players. Inside of here, you're going to have a bunch of folders and a load of different files. The one that we care about is options.4.cod23. This is the config file for Modern Warfare 3, whereas the COD22 one was the one for Modern Warfare 2, so they are separate. To edit this file, we're going to need to open up in Notepad, so just right-click it, go to Open With. If you have it at the top here, then great, you can just select it here. Otherwise, you'll have to click More Apps, come down here, select it, and then click OK. In comparison to Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, where there was only three or four things in the config file that really helped us. There are a ton more things we're going to cover today that are going to push that performance up way more than what we can get from just the in-game settings. The first setting we're actually going to change is near the top. It's this renderer work account setting, which by default for me is set to nine. You guys might have a different default, which the game selects for you based on what your CPU is. However, for many people, including myself, this is not set correctly in order to efficiently utilize the cores of my CPU. In order for us to know what value to put in here, what you're going to want to do is do do control shift and escape on your keyboard this is going to bring up your task manager then head over to the performance tab and on the cpu area you can see down here the number of cores that your computer has as well as your logical processors or threads the number we care about here is the cores which for me is eight what you then want to do is take that number take away one from it, so for me that would be seven, and you're gonna put that in the renderer work account. Feel free to do your own benchmarking on this kind of stuff, try out the number of cores, try out one less, try out one more. In most circumstances, one less is gonna be your best bet. For the next setting we're gonna change, press Control F on your keyboard, and then you're gonna search for Corpse. Click Find Next, and you'll find this setting called Corpse Limit. By default, it's set to 10. You're gonna bring it all the way down to zero, so just replace the number between the inverted commas. In theory, this shouldn't have any effect on normal multiplayer. It will help out with zombies and game modes like Invasion though, so it's definitely still worth doing. The next three settings we're gonna change are actually just below that Corpse Limit one, and they are Show Blood, blood limit and blood limit interval. For these, you want to change show blood to false. You want to put blood limit to true. And then you want to put blood limit interval all the way down to one. Essentially, what this should do is remove blood completely from the game. Yes, some people might think that this removes immersion from the game, but it does help a little bit with performance. And it also just generally cleans up the visibility in the game. It allows you to just focus on hitting your opponent, getting those hit markers popping on screen, and it will help you play better in the long run. So I do recommend you turn blood off. Now for this next setting we're gonna change, I only recommend you change it if you are really struggling for FPS. You're on a lower end build and you just need every bit of FPS you can get. To get to it, you're gonna search for texture filter no spaces and it's this setting down here by default it's going to be set to whatever you have your texture filtering inside the game set at. the key thing here is though that texture filter linear which will give you the best performance is not able to be set inside of the game so if you want to gain a little bit more performance just copy the line of text over here and paste it where you've got the inverted commas over here. As I said, this will make your game look a little bit worse. It will make textures look a bit worse at certain angles, but it can help with performance when you are really struggling for FPS. The next search we're gonna do is actually gonna be corpse again, because there's another setting about corpses. Whilst that previous setting about corpses was all about AI, this one is about all of the corpses in the game. So when you're playing multiplayer and you kill three people and their bodies drop to the floor, your PC is actually having to use some sort of resource to keep those bodies in the game, which we don't need. So corpses culling threshold, change this from 0.85 to 0.85. Five and try and keep the number of zeros the same. If you need to, you can come over here and you can copy the number here and paste it over. You can't bring it down to zero. The lowest you can go is 0.5, which it says over here. The next setting we're gonna change is just below Corpse's Culling Threshold. It's this Catmull Clark subdivision level. Sounds like a load of gibberish, I know, but Catmull Clark is a algorithm that computers use to generate 3D objects. And the number down here should determine how good those 3D objects look. 
we're unsurprisingly going to put it all the way down to zero, which in theory should make your game look awful, but I can guarantee you it doesn't. It looks pretty much exactly the same, and you do gain some nice performance from this one, so this is a really important one to change. For the next setting, you're going to want to search for Sun Shadow, and you'll find a setting called Sun Shadow Cascade, which by default is set to high two to three cascades. Now, there's a load of shadow settings inside of the game. This one, which is one of the biggest FPS hogs, just isn't in there. And by default, it's maxed out, which is crazy. What you can do in here is copy the low one cascade string of text over here and just replace the high that it automatically defaults to. Once again, another saying that's going to improve your FPS by a decent amount. Moving on, the next thing you want to search for is reflection. You have to click next a couple of times here, but you're looking for reflection probe relighting. Now, this is basically to do with the quality of reflections in game, even though in game we always talk about just putting that to the lowest because reflections don't matter in a competitive FPS. In here though, it's maxed out. So we're just gonna put it down to the lowest, which is one. And then just below that, you've got static sun shadow clip map resolution, bit of a mouthful. You're gonna put this all the way down to zero as well. This setting's doing very similar things to the sun shadow cascade setting we changed before. It's all to do with how shadows look cast from the sun, especially ones that are at distance that we don't care about. And you're never gonna notice any difference from when you're actually playing the game. Now, if you're finding these settings to be useful or informative and you want to see more of this kind of stuff moving forward as soon as it releases, then you need to go and subscribe down below. It literally takes one click, no effort on your guys' part, and it means the absolute world to me. So why not consider going down there and also like the video while you're at it. There's only a couple more now. First one you want to search for is virtual. You'll find virtual texturing memory mode. You just want to pull this all the way down from large to extra space small. So just make sure it matches the text inside of here. Then search for GPU and you'll find GPU upload heaps. This setting's actually defaulted to true for most people, which is good, but I just wanted to cover it in this video in case it was set for false or if you'd already changed it to false, which you definitely don't want to do. What this does is it enables resizable bar support on your GPU. If you want some proper details on resizable bar, you can go and Google it. But basically, as it says here, it allows you to upload more data to your VRAM. It allows the GPU to work far more efficiently. And we're actually, for NVIDIA cards, going to cover some extra stuff to do with resizable bar later in this video. For now, though, sticking with this config file, the next setting in here is enable velocity based blur. For some people, this is put a true by default, and you don't want any blur. Anything that says blur, motion blur, radial blur, you don't want any of that on. It's gonna absolutely ruin your overall visibility and gameplay experience, so ensure that this is set to false. And the last one we're gonna change, nothing to do with performance, but it's an absolute pet peeve of mine. You can come down here to skip intro and make sure that this is true. It's just gonna mean that you don't get that introduction movie of Call of Duty and all that kind of stuff every time you open up the game, especially if you're crashing a bunch at the moment for whatever reason you just want to get back in the game as soon as possible and you can do that by putting skip intro to true now that we're done with all the settings in here you can come up to file click save and close the config file the next setting to cover is actually a windows setting you get there by typing in graphics in your search bar at the bottom and then opening up graphics settings it's called hardware accelerated gpu scheduling it says that it's meant to reduce latency improve performance all really really good stuff now in modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 this setting actually hurt your FPS. So I had it off and I expected coming into Modern Warfare 3, it would be the same. But I turned this on a couple of days back and it's actually helping me gain another five FPS or so in benchmarks. And I've seen a very similar thing for many other people. However, for some people, this is still actually negatively affecting FPS. So what I would recommend you do is try benchmarking the game with this on and with it off and see what works better for you. But don't just assume that what you've got in here already is the best. It's definitely worth testing. Important thing to know, if you do change this saying, you have to restart your PC for it to actually make any change. So make sure between your benchmarks of testing, you're doing a full restart of your PC to ensure it's actually being set correctly. The next thing we're gonna change is specifically for NVIDIA GPUs. So if you don't have one of those, you've got an AMD one, then just skip to the next chapter down below. But for you NVIDIA guys, this is really, really important. You're gonna to wanna to come to the link that I've put in the description below to download what's called NVIDIA Profile 
Profile Inspector, which is basically a little bit of software that is very trusted, very well tested, and it allows you to change some of your GPU settings that you can't change inside of things like the control panel or GeForce Experience or anything like that. So go there, download the zip file, open it up, and then keep watching the video. So now we've got NVIDIA Profile Inspector open. It can look a little bit scary. There's a lot of stuff in here, but honestly, not much damage can be done, only stuff to gain. What you wanna do is click up on this little magnifying glass where it allows you to show unknown settings. Then you wanna come over to the profiles area and you wanna just do a search for call of duty. Let's see if I can spell it correctly. Scroll down and you wanna find Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 brackets 2023. Click that and it's gonna load up our profile for the game specifically. You then wanna scroll down to section five and you'll find three options here for resizable bar. You'll have feature, options, and size limit. Going through them one by one, feature, you wanna make sure in the drop down you have enabled selected. Then for our bar options, you wanna open this and you wanna select the first option, the one that ends in 00001. Then for size limit, click this one and you want to select once again the first one, which is the one with the four in the middle of it. These three settings together will ensure that resizable bar is being activated and used correctly inside of the game and giving you as much performance as possible. Last thing to do before we close this down is to select apply changes up here. Just give it a second and you'll know that they're dialed in because when you scroll down, they'll all be set correctly as we just set them. And then you can close down the software. Last thing I'd recommend that everyone does before we jump back in game is completely clean out your shaders folder. This will force the game to do a complete reinstall of the shaders when we next open it. And it's usually a good idea when you're messing with config files and GPU stuff outside of the game. To get to them, you need to find your install folder for your game. On Steam, you can do that by right-clicking the game, go to Properties, then in Installed Files, you can just click Browse. There'll be a similar way to do that for Battle.net if you've got it installed on there. But that's opened up the folder down here. You then want to go to COD23, open up the Shader Cache folder, select everything in here with Control a and then just press Delete. Then, as I said, next time we open up the game, you'll have that shaders installing or shaders optimizing thing in the top left-hand corner, the pre-install of the shaders. And when that's done to 100%, all your settings are locked in and your game should be running silky smooth. So now that you've got the game running at its best, the next thing you need to do is go and watch this video where I'll take you guys through six really important gameplay settings that you probably didn't even know exist inside of Modern Warfare 3 and you definitely need to change.